hello guys and welcome back so in the previous video we have added some basic player movement as you can see we can move forward backward left and right but if you notice that when we press the a button it moves to the left side but the player doesn't change his face position as you can see and we don't want this we want that when we when we press the a button we want to change the player facing to the left side and when we press the d button we want to change the facing to the right and similar on the forward and backward when we press the s button and the player moves forward we want to change the facing of the player so in order to do that open up the player script and right here inside this if condition where we are moving the player we will create a float by the name of target angle and this will equals to math f dot at n2 and in here we will pass the direction dot x and then direction dot z and let's multiply this by math f dot red to dpg and right here you will be thinking that what this math f dot n2 and why we are multiplying these two by this math f dot red to dpg this is just a simple mathematical equation let's visualize this so that we understand this fairly simple so consider this as a coordinate system this represents our whole environment or scene with our player right here in the center this circle right here is the direction which we want the player to point in so right here then we use the 8 and 2 function right here we first give it the y coordinate and then the x coordinate and we actually divide those two so basically we first give the y and then the x coordinate of our direction to get the angle from the x axis to the vector so this assumes that our rotation start at 0 at the x axis and then increase counterclockwise so right here if it is 0 then right here it will be 90 then it will increase again then 180 and then to 70 but in unity our character will have a rotation of 0 when she is pointing forward okay like that when the player is pointing forward the rotation will be 0 and from here it increase in clockwise and to take this into account now right here now we will first pass the x coordinate and then the y coordinate and then it will work just fine we will get the angle that we need and right here if you see the script we first give the x coordinate and then the z coordinate and the reason we are using this metafred.deg is because this will give us the angle in radians so we simply multiply that by this to convert it into degrees okay so now let's rotate the transform of our player so we will simply say transform dot rotation this would be equals to quaternion dot Euler and first of all we will pass 0 f then we will pass the angle and then we will again pass 0 f and basically the angle is the target angle so we will pass the target angle now if we save this and open up the unity now let's run the game and see how does it looks okay now if we press the a button as you can see the player is moving to that side and now let's press the s button now as you can see it is moving to that side as you can see it works perfect if you play it again 
Okay, so now when we press the W button, it moves forward. When we press the S button, it moves backwards. When we press the T button, the player moves to the right side. And when we press the A button, it moves to the left side. And now when we keep pressing the left button and then press W, as you can see, it moves to that direction. And now if you press T, the W key it moves to that direction now we are getting some movement to our player and now if we come right here as you can see our player just floats in the air and we actually don't want that we want to apply gravity to our player so that it the player always moves on the surface so in the next video we will apply gravity to our player and also we will move the player wherever the camera directs if the camera is looking in the right direction okay if we put the camera to the right side then we want the player to move in that direction but that is for the next video so catch you guys in the next one